What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. This video is going to be a quick video, just a quick tutorial. I've had a couple requests on this now, ever since I put up my recent video where I showed people the different tools that I use each and every day here on Redbubble. For those who don't know, Redbubble is a place where you can essentially make money online by posting some designs that you see here that are currently on my screen. The tool that I use that I'm going to be talking about today is the Redbubble Rocket, tool, Rocket Tagger tool. It's essentially a Redbubble tag generator tool. For those who don't know, tagging is one of the most important money-making aspects to being successful or making money on Redbubble. It's the thing that matters. If you want to make money on Redbubble, you have to pay attention to your tags. In fact, we have a whole Redbubble course dedicated to to finding you know, how to use the right tags, how to find the right tags, basically everything associated with it. And you know, you guys can look through. We have testimonials. We have people talking about it. We have you know, the whole... It, in fact, it, the course is so transparent that every single part of the course uh, is listed outside on the course right here from the outside, the different topics, things like that. So to be clear, guys, when you're working with Redbubble, you will need to pay attention to your tags. If you look at your sales right now, if they're low, it's because of your tags. If they're high, it's most likely because of your tags. There are elements in time where I would say design matters. Uh, 99, I'm not going to say 99%, but I would say about 80% of the time, your design is perfectly fine. Most of the time, it has to do with your tags. The reason why I say that is because majority of people are not getting enough traffic and they're not getting enough sales. If you are getting a lot of traffic but you're not getting any sales, that's an indication that your design quality is terrible. If you're getting a lot of sa uh, a lot of uh, not a lot of traffic, not a lot of sales, well then that's an indication that your tags are not properly set up. And like I said, we dedicate a whole course for this. But what about a different solution? And this is what caught a lot of people's attention through the video. Well, you can use what's referred to as a Redbubble Rocket Tag, excuse me, a tag generator tool. Now, tag generator tools work differently depending on what tool you're using. So I'm just going to share what, how this tool specifically works for the tool that I'm using and how I personally use it, okay? So to be clear, when you're using the uh, generator tool, what you're doing is you're essentially what this tool is doing, the one that I'm going to share with you that's been created by bots, bots and apps .com. It's a tool that I use all the time. Uh, it's currently $12.99, but it's on sale for $7.99. Um, it's a tool that I have been using to find the right tags. Now, you guys can go ahead and sit here and read through you know, their documentation, how it works, etc. But I'm just going to explain how it works in layman's terms, okay? Let's say you've created a design, and this is what you want to do. You typically want to create a design before you actually go out there and do it, okay? Um, yeah, excuse me, title it or have an idea for the keywords, right? A lot of people do things the opposite way. A lot of people will go out there and think that they find the right keywords before they find the right designs. If you know, you guys know this. If you've take the, taken the design course, you know that I don't do the niche research prior to doing the design. In fact, I do it the complete opposite. I do the designs first because my design method helps me with that. So regardless, all those links will be in the pinned comment, right? But the way I set things up is I do the designs first. I don't spend hours, I don't even spend minutes doing the niche research. There's no reason to, okay? When I create, after I create my designs, I make my specific design fit for the right niche. How do I do this? So I think of the keyword that is best for that specific design. So let's take a look at this design, for example. Let's say this was my design, and let's say I wanted to sell this design, and I upload it. Well, I'm going to think of something that I'm going to title it. So I might title it a picture of a cow. I might picture it, I might title it cartoon cow. I might title it kawaii cow. I might title it any one of those kind of keywords to represent the main concept of my design. So that's the first thing you want to do. After you design your design, uh, and I know that's a tongue twister. After you create your design, you want to have an idea of a main concept for your design. That's typically going to be the title, right? And most people can agree. Your, your title is going to relate something to the design, right? 
Once you have your title, what you're going to do is you're going to take that idea of the title, the main keyword or the main keywords, it could be even the title word for word, and you're going to paste it in Redbubble search. Okay. So once you complete that, you're going to get a list of results that show up. Now you need to understand that the way Redbubble search works, and this is what I found out long, long time ago when I first started doing Redbubble, the way Redbubble search works is that it is solely, almost 99% of the time, solely dependent on your tags, the tags that you use for the designs. It is not, and I repeat, it is not based on your title, okay? The reason why I say this is because I know people might get confused. I explain it in the in the design in the tag course. So it's not like something I haven't talked about before. I have just explained it in the tag course and I've shown proof of this. But I'll give you a small example. If I search for the word shark right now, or let's not even search for shark, let's search for the word tiger. Let's do that. Okay. If you look here, I search for the word tiger, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the best selling for the word tiger. And you could see here the first design, and this is an example that I've used previously, the first design has nothing to do with tigers, but it has to do with sharks. Completely two different animals. Well, why do you think that shows up? Or Tiger Woods, why do you think this shows up? It's because the way Redbubble alg the algorithm works is the relevancy of a keyword and the relevancy of a design is solely dependent on the keywords in the tags of that specific design. It is not based on the title, okay? Here, you could see the title is Sharks in the Light Blue Backpack. That's literally what the product is called. But there's no word tiger in the title, okay? So that's just to be clear. The tags matter the most for your product to arise. So the way Redbubble works by default is through relevancy. Whenever you type in a keyword here, and I could just search for the keyword tiger again, the the section over here, it, it, which is the filter, it essentially pertains to what they're going to show you first, which is always most relevant. It's by default set to most relevant. Why? Because Redbubble knows what sells the most, not necessarily is the most relevant, yet they show up as the same keyword search because it has to do with their tags. And this is the inherent flaw within Redbubble system. So how do we combat this? What do we do? Well, we want to show up for the most relevant designs. This is obvious, right? We both know that if our design shows up for the most relevant as the default view, we have the chance to make more money. And my argument for this, and everybody can agree with me, we all know this, is that let's say this design here on page one, it's in the, what, third row, right? Third row, uh, this design is making more money, you know, based on what I've seen or what I believe and what we all believe than this design. And we can also make the same assumption, right, that this design, even though it has nothing to do with the word tiger, generates more money than, let's say, this design, right? Why do I say that? It's because it's found higher in the search. Now, not necessarily pertaining to that keyword, but just in general, okay? Now, with that being said, the thing that concurs with this idea is that ask yourself this, how often back in the day when, that's really not that long ago, but when Google had the pages where you could go to page two, page five, page eight on Google, when you search something, how often did you go to page eight or page four or page six? Really not too often, right? We can all agree. You usually had your first results on the first page uh, up until like maybe six to eight years ago. Before eight years ago, maybe at most you'd be on page two and that was it. But most of the time, you're on page one. Well, it's the same thing for Redbubble. When somebody searches for a product, rarely ever are they going to page two, page three, page four, page whatever, right? Which is another reason why I use the Instagram bots to boost up my sales for products as not being seen. But that's a whole different conversation for a whole different day. So essentially what you want to do, and we can all agree on this, is we want to show up as relevantly high as possible. Now we know that the most relevant has nothing to do with the sales, but it has to do with the keywords. And this is the key. So what we do is we use the Redbubble Rocket Tagger tool, aka the Redbubble Tag Generator, to find us the right keywords based on the keyword that we're searching for. So 
basically, in layman's terms, I'm going to be searching for a keyword. Once I search for this keyword, Redbubble is going to present me with a set amount of results. These results are selected by Redbubble because Redbubble believes that these designs are the most relevant to the keyword that I searched. But if you remember, the keyword that I searched is the keyword that pertains most to my design, which means I want to rank for that specific keyword. So what am I going to do? I'm specifically going to just go straight to the tool and I'm going to select grab tags. Now, the way I'm going to do this is let me go ahead and refresh because sometimes this thing does glitch out a little bit. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to click on the tool and I'm going to hit grab tags. And what it's going to do is it's going to go through the process. Sometimes it could take a few seconds like you just saw. Sometimes it could take a few minutes. What it's going to do is it's going to go in and it's going to grab the best tags that most likely relate, keyword relate, to the keyword that I searched for. Do you, you guys understand this? So these keywords right here are the tags that most likely relate to the keyword that is being searched. And so what some people do is they literally take those keywords and they just paste them in the design and they don't worry about the tags. Now, do I recommend that? I mean, I do recommend you at least look at the tags before you just copy and paste them. But these are the keywords that the machine takes by looking at every single design and says, okay, based on this keyword for every single design for all 239,000 results, it's going to find me the keywords that most likely relate, okay? And guys, for me, sorry, I had to sneeze for a second. For me, that's essentially the best way to use the tool. Now, something that I want to do is a wise individual, at least this is what I believe, and I'm sharing you guys this because this is like some pro information here, pro tips, is sometimes you do want to compare and contrast the keywords versus the designs. I'll explain. So in, in terms of a relevancy versus a best-selling approach, if I take the keyword tiger, just because something is highly selling doesn't mean it necessarily rates. And we're using this best-selling example again. I'm going to go here to best-selling for the keyword tiger. You could see here this has to do with sharks. If I want to make money, if somebody's searching truly for the keyword tiger, they do not want to see the shark's picture. They don't want to see a picture of Tiger Woods, at least most of the time, unless they would type in Tiger Woods. They don't want to see the picture of these sharks. They want to see a picture of a tiger. They wouldn't even want to see this umbrella even, right? They want to see a picture of a tiger. With that being said, something I wouldn't do is I wouldn't necessarily find the keywords in the best-selling section unless none of these unrelated designs uh, appear, Okay. So in other words, let me go ahead and rephrase this so I can make this a little more smooth, is sometimes there is a solution to search the best-selling category and let the tag runner, tag generator tool kind of work to see what the best tags are for the best-selling category. However, it would not be wise to do that, assuming that the designs are set differently to the design that is actually desired based on the set keyword. So hopefully that makes sense. So... I would not, and I repeat, I would not run the tag tool, right, on the best-selling category. So I wouldn't do this on the best-selling category, right? And it could take a few minutes. I'm, I'm just not even going to let it work. Uh, I'm going to go exit this thing right now. Um, I would not let the tool run on the section of best-selling if and only if the designs have nothing to do with the keyword that I have. One design, one keyword, uh, excuse me, one... Um, uh, design here, any one of these designs that are not related could th drastically throw off my results. So nine times out of 10, I'm going to stick to the most relevant here. And what I'm going to do when I stick to the most relevant is I'm finding keywords that most likely relate to what I'm trying to sell, what I'm trying to work on. And remember, the better that you can find a title that most likely relates to your product and you paste it here in the search, that is going to give you the better results in the long term to find the right tags for you, for the machine to find the right tags for you. And that's it, guys. It's really that simple. That's how I set this tool up. Now, a lot of people would say, well, does that mean that you don't have any of your own knowledge? You just essentially take the, mach the machine's tags and you just put them in? And the answer is absolutely not. For those who don't know, 
my Redbubble tag course was released way before this tool was released. So I want to be clear on that. And in my course, I have a specific methodology, for those who don't know, um, I have a specific methodology in the course. And you guys could see here the different uh, titles of each video presented in the course. I have a specific methodology behind every single process that we do to find the right tags. The way I look at this tool is that it's just simply an addition to the skills that we acquire when it comes down to working on Redbubble. It's simply an addition. I, I don't solely depend on it. Now, are there people that solely depend on this tool to acquire tags for their, for their designs? The answer is absolutely they do. Are they making money? Absolutely. But my thing is, is what if one day something happens to the tool where we can't get access to it? Maybe the, the company doesn't sell it anymore. Maybe, you know, whatever the case. What are you going to do then? Are you just going to simply rely on the tool? You shouldn't, right? Are you going to just shut down your business because the tool doesn't exist anymore? No. And trust me, I'm not saying this because I know something behind the scenes. I don't. I don't know if the, you know what the status with the tool is. The tool is perfectly fine. But the thing is, guys, is that you're going to want to have your own understanding of tagging before you get too deep into using the cheat codes, the tools, right? Now, yes, the tools are amazing. Yes, they speed things up. Yes, they help you make more money. But it's always good to get that good background. So essentially, guys, this is how I use the tool when it comes down to tagging on Redbubble.